Okay, so I was helping out a friend the other day with her uh, WooCommerce uh, website and she wanted to add a region or a state that wasn't already available by the um, default ones that WooCommerce gives you. So um, we'll be going over how to add uh, a state that isn't already available and um, I'll also go over how to disable uh, the proceed to check out, for example, if the shipping costs can't be calculated. So like let's say I don't ship to Auckland or something and they try to hit update and then this button is obviously going to disappear and you won't be able to proceed to check out. So um, it's pretty easy what what you want to do is just uh, follow along with me so you're just going to want to open up terminal and um, basically you're just going to follow along the commands that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's, it's really easy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So. Okay, so what you actually want to do is, is you want to go to your plugins and you want to add a new one. And we're gonna yep, we're gonna search for one. We're gonna add ooh, it's almost like I've done this before. We're gonna add one called Woody Snippets, because we wanna add a code snippet. So I'll install this. And if you're wondering why my address is funny, it's just because I'm hosting uh, WordPress on my local machine. But it's exactly like having an actual website up and running. So once this installs, we wanna activate it. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a snippet. And we're going to create a PHP snippet. So create item. And um, I'm going to give mine a meaningful title. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste in this code here. Um, I'll leave this code in the description or somewhere like that. Yay, no we're not. Okay, I don't know why this is being difficult, but it is. Oh, that's still being difficult. That's being difficult. Okay, if this happens, you just need to delete a lot of, just delete all that blank space, and apparently it fixes it. All right, sweet. So I assume none of you really care what this uh, actually does, but and you just want to get your website up and running. But um, I'll just explain to you how it works, anyways, because it might be important. I don't know. Uh, so your country code, obviously, you, you're going to want to get your one. Um, I'm in New Zealand, so mine is uh, NZ. And then here is where we add the different states. So um, obviously, I'm going to add my one, which is Waiheke Island, and you want to give it a, a proper tag here. Um, if you wanted to add an, another one, uh, so more than just one, you can just literally copy this, make sure there's a comma there after that, and paste it in, and obviously change this and this. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to go ahead like this. Oh, and make sure you press run everywhere. This is really important, because uh, don't be a noob like me. Sweet, so we're just going to publish that. And uh, so we've added Waiheke Island, so let's go see if it worked. Refresh, calculate my shipping, and it's there. Sweet, so now we can ship to Waiheke Island. And I'll show you in the shipping settings that this works just like a regular state, so you can do everything that you usually can. So we'll go to our settings, shipping. Wait, so we want to, um, oh, I've already got some here. I'm going to delete those and pretend it didn't happen. Okay, so we want to add a shipping zone because let's say we want to make it more expensive to ship to the state that, um, that we added. So, oh, I've definitely done this before. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and add the state. That we added, which is Waiheke, which is here. We're going to add a shipping method, flat. And let's just make this something ridiculous. Oh, like that. Sweet as shipping zone. 
Okay, and now I'm going to add the rest of the North Island. Another zone for that, that is. Ooh, how convenient. Uh, New Zealand, so let's just add... No, 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 no. Auckland, and... Don't know what I'm trying to spell there. Or maybe it was Waikato, and Waikato. I'm not going to bother adding the rest, but... As you get the idea. So this this is just going to be a flat rate of let's say ten dollars. Save changes. Cool. Now let's see if it works. So let's go to our site. Let's go to cart. So it's cart. So already we've got the flat rate because it's already pre-selected Auckland. Um, and let's go to Wahiki Island, see if that gives us the ridiculous, yep, okay, that's working, okay, cool, so let's say, I mean, obviously, let's say I only want to ship to Auckland and Waikato, but if somebody selects, like, Bay of Plenty, that's update, there's no shipping options, and they can still proceed to check out, and that's not very good. So to disable this pro C to check out, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our snippet. And we're going to edit it. And we're going to add this code. Once again, I'll leave this somewhere for you guys to copy and paste. So literally add that in. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're back. Oh, fuck. Um, right, yeah, so go ahead and hit update. And we'll test it out in our cart. So hit refresh. Change our address. So let's try ship to somewhere not selected. Let's go Wellington. Update. And you can see the procedure checkout has uh, been disabled. Mine still says check out with PayPal, but that's just because it's a shitty demo site. Um, but yeah, and I'll even show you that even if you try to go to checkout, it shouldn't let you. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'll also explain how, if let's say someone chooses Auckland but enters a postcode for Waiheke, which I can't remember, but you'll obviously want it to calculate the shipping cost for Waiheke and not Auckland, so I'll show you how to do that. So I guess the rest of this video is pretty much for New Zealanders, but um, I'll show you how to do it anyways. So you want to go back to your settings, shipping, and in your zones, you're going to want to limit to postcodes. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this because obviously there's a ton of postcodes, but this is the way I did it and it works. So. I got all the postcodes from here. Now, from this URL. Now, you can go ahead and download the Excel spreadsheet and get all your postcodes that way by copying them for the North Island, obviously. But because I don't have Excel, I can't open it. So I wrote myself a bit of code to get them all straight from the website. And I'll leave all these postcodes. These are North Island only. And I'll leave. Uh, I'll. I'll put these in the description as well if you want them. So what we're going to do is go back here and we're going to paste them all in. Oh, and obviously we need to delete the Waiheke ones. So we're going to need to delete from go in here, control find the and these are the Waiheke ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. 
cut them out, save changes. Uh, shipping zone. And we're going to do the same thing for Waiheke. And we'll paste those in. Save changes. So let's say a customer chooses Auckland with a, with a postcode from Waiheke Island. Hit update. And see, there's going to be no shipping options found because obviously it's getting the wrong postcode for Auckland and it's not going to let you proceed to check out because of that code that we added earlier as well. But let's say that it was Waiheke Island, the right postcode, update, boom, all working. So sweet, yeah, cheers.